before we get this sea lion party started, there's something you all need to know about the girls on stage is me. They act a lot like three-year-old children. And all you parents out there, you guys are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, either we're going to have a great show today, and these girls are going to do everything we ask them to do, exactly how we ask them to do it. Or we're going to have a great show, and you know what? These girls are just going to do whatever they want to do. Either way, we ask you guys laugh along, and you have a good time. But for right now, it is time for me to introduce these girls' as best friend, Jill. Hello, everyone. Are you guys ready for some sea lion fun? Yeah! Come on. Well, these three very beautiful ladies on stage with me, they do work for two things and two things only. Now, the first, if you can all guess, it has to do with their food, and it is... Fish, that's right. And the second thing, well, that does come from all of you. When you guys see these girls doing something you like, I want you to let them know just how much you like it by making a lot of noise. Make some noise for these girls. All right, ladies, show the audience. What do you ladies want after every performance? What is it? Oh, that's right. They want your applause. Good job. All right, but now it is time for me to introduce to all of you the stars of the show. And we're going to begin with the one and only Sparky. Now, Sparky over here, well, she is our captive bred California sea lion, and she's going to show you all her very beautiful smile. Uh, very cute, Sparky. Hey, Spark, don't forget your manners. Say hello. That's hello in sea lion. Now, over here in the middle, well, we have the very beautiful Kimmy. Now, Kimmy, you may notice she does look a little different from the other two girls, and that's because Kimmy here, well, she is a South American sea lion. Now, Kim, I got a very important question for you. Are you happy to be here today? You want to be on my are. No. Were you hanging out in that pool with a smile on your face? Yeah, look at that pretty girl smile. Good girl. And last but certainly not least, we have our baby girl, Zoe. Now, Zoe's also a California girl, but Zoe does come to this company, however, with a very sad story. You see Zoe right here. Well, she unfortunately was a beach stranded sea lion. Spark. Spark. <laughs> Let her pick up all the fish she dropped. Sparkers. All right, good girl, Spark. Come here. You got it. Go to your seat. Spark. Thank you. Are you sorry? Thank you. Let's Come on. There you go. Go to your seat. I know, Zoe. We were talking about you. Are you going to stay on your seat? That's a no. All right. Come here. All right. Now, as we were saying, we were talking about Zoe over here. Now, Zoe, she does come to this company with a very sad story. And that's because she's a beach stranded sea lion in the right Zozo. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, Zoe was found stranded. And we believe that her mom may have been a victim of pollution. Yeah, now speaking of pollution, hey, Kimmy, why don't you come down here and in front of all these lovely people, Kim, can you do me a favor? Can you think about pollution for a minute? <laughs> She's thinking. Good girl. All right, Kimmy, thought about it. You did. What do you have to say about pollution? That's right. We yell at it. We don't like pollution. Unfortunately, marine mammals all over this world, will they come into contact with different types of pollution. And sadly, it's things we have left behind, like plastic bags, soda bottles, and water bottles. And many times, while marine mammals out in the wild, they don't know any better, and they'll play with this stuff. And sometimes, well, they'll even make the big mistake, and they'll eat it. Sparky, why don't you show everybody what would happen to you if you accidentally ate plastic? Ready? Okay. Hold it. What would happen to you, Spark? Let's see it. So it's more fries? 